Hi, and welcome to this video series. My name is Matt Nightingale. I'm a senior generative AI solutions architect at AWS focused on model training and inference. In today's video, we'll discuss how to accelerate foundation model pre-training using SageMaker Hyperpod. This video is part one of a three-part series in which we'll discuss distributed training on SageMaker Hyperpod. In video two of this series, we'll discuss creating a Hyperpod cluster. And in video three, we'll show distributed training using SageMaker model parallel libraries of a Llama 2 7B model using floating point eight operations. Let's jump into SageMaker Hyperpod. Typical distributed training architectures on AWS are made up of tightly coupled clusters of EC2 instances called ultra clusters. AWS Parallel Cluster simplifies the creation and management of Slurm-based HPC clusters on AWS. And Amazon EKS, a managed Kubernetes service, allows you to deploy Kubernetes-based training clusters on AWS. Both support EFA networking out of the box for low latency, high throughput interconnect communication, and integration with a high performance file system in FSx for Lustre. Building upon our learning and experience supporting the kind of workloads on Parallel Cluster and EKS, Amazon SageMaker released Hyperpod, a purpose-built service to accelerate foundation model training, removing the undifferentiated heavy lifting involved in managing and optimizing a large training compute cluster. With Hyperpod, you can train foundation models for weeks and months without disruption. To make foundation model training more resilient to hardware failures, Hyperpod continuously monitors the cluster health, repairs and replaces faulty nodes on the fly, and saves frequent checkpoints to automatically resume training without loss in progress. Training a foundation model is complex and demanding, involving large amounts of data and powerful clusters of accelerators, as well as specialized code to manage the training process. It requires ongoing adjustments to optimize model performance and manual fixes for hardware issues that can cause delays. The process includes splitting data sets, customizing data distribution, frequent performance checks, and handling potential failures all of which require deep machine learning expertise and significant manual effort. SageMaker Hyperpod offers a more resilient training environment by monitoring cluster instance health via an agent running on the cluster nodes, which checks for issues with CPU, GPU, and network health. For GPU-based instances like P4 and P5s, Hyperpod runs DCGM Diagnostic Level 2 to exercise the GPUs, and DCGM policies are used to continuously monitor for XID and thermal violation errors reported from the NVIDIA GPUs. For neuron-based instances, the neuron SysFS counters propagated directly by the neuron driver are monitored by the Hyperpod agent to ensure health of the accelerators. Hyperpod runs an EFA health checker to test the availability and connectivity of EFA cards within each instance. A full list of Hyperpod health checks is included in the service documentation. With the auto-resume functionality, if a job fails due to hardware failure or any transient issue in between training, SageMaker Hyperpod auto-resume starts the node replacement workflow and restarts the job after the faulty nodes are replaced. With the faulty instance replaced, SageMaker Hyperpod then re the workload in Slurm and reloads the last valid checkpoint to resume the training process. Hyperpod also gives users the ability to manually swap out a cluster node in the event of a hardware failure using S-Control. SageMaker Hyperpod enhances foundation model training by offering a user-friendly experience with high control over the computing environment and responsiveness in starting and stopping training runs without initialization time. It allows you to install custom tools for model design and SSH into cluster instances for experimentation and debugging. For teams, cluster partitioning features and scheduling policies can help efficiently manage compute cluster resources. To get started quickly on SageMaker Hyperpod, we provide model recipes that contain best practices on all aspects of the model building process on AWS, including model toolkits, data loaders, frameworks, and profiling. In the next video in this series, we'll show you how to get started quickly by walking through the steps to create a Hyperpod cluster before demonstrating training in the final video of this series. Thanks for watching.